the sensual caress of the ocean waves, like the gentle but passionate foil of a dove feather upon a lover's derriere. I was lit tired. The weight of the world pressed upon me like a wheel of camembert, and I needed to escape from it all, to be at peace, to be at one, to be Michelle. are you doing here? Would you believe it? Look who's here on my holiday. What do you mean look who's here? I'm in Cannes for the Google Creative Sandbox. I was invited here by Google. Yeah, but I didn't know you were going to be here. I thought I was just invited here. But we're sorted food together. Well, I guess as we're here now, we might as well do some cooking. Something French? Stevie Wonder here and I are going to make some snails and some frog's legs and I'm praying that he's going to make this taste nice. It so. will. Lemon, garlic, shallot, butter, some parsley, some white wine. And we're going to do the same thing with the snails as we will with the frigs. Fro frig's legs? Frog's legs. You're going to love it. And he's going to do that all without the use of a Labrador. <laughs> the French take their cuisine very seriously, don't they? What have I tried that's French? Moule marinier. Crepe. Crepe. Profiteroles. I hope this doesn't taste like crepe. Um, <laughs> oh, what are they? Oh, no. I'm opening a tin of snails. I want you to see this first. Is it bad? So we'll drain our snails into a bowl. I have to be honest, I thought they were going to be in their shells. Really plump, cooked, ready to eat. Oh, you're just eating one raw. How's that for you? Tell the truth. I'm not a big fan of them cold. Ah! I think they need a bit of warm garlic so butter. Macho, chomping on what can only resemble a gallbladder. <laughs> it wouldn't be French without white wine, of course. Absolutely. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look at those! Oh, the other side is even worse. These are frog's legs, I assume. These are frog's legs. Rub that into our frog's legs. I am up for trying anything new, and at least at the end of this, I'll be able to say, I've tried frog's legs. If you're French and you're watching this, you're probably screaming at me through your computer screen, saying, you ignorant pig. Um, I'm gonna try this. I'm having an open mind, but in England, we have things like jelly deals and an equivalent to this, which probably everyone else thinks is as disgusting. So um, I think we should all just have an open mind and try all sorts of food. <laughs> this is going to be terrible. Jean-Claude having a bit of a, a natural shower. Hi. Yeah? We're hanging about. I haven't got any shells for my snails. Can you go and find some on the beach? No. On the website this week, Ben, where was the list? We brought you a beer can chicken. Now that's not Jamaican for bacon, that's a beer can chicken. It was actually chicken in a beer can. And that is to tie in with our ebook, the first chapter being the barbecue edition, which you can get for free. You can download here, down there. And um, yeah, that was just, I, I meant pointing down to an annotation. Check out the video, download the ebook, then you're pretty much guaranteed to have a nice life. Fruit French toast. Can you tell me some quick things about that? Uh, it was an orange and vanilla fruity French toast. Brilliant breakfast item, or in fact, just any time of the day, breakfast, brunch. It's impressive. We've been after it lots. It's been on the website for a while, no one's seen it, so we're sharing it with you guys now. Okay, so that was it. For Feel Good Food, we made a chicken tikka paneer with Electra, our mate who came down and filmed. I like her. And for those of you with a sweet tooth, we did a chocolate s'more cake for Independence Day. Do you want to get any closer? My sweaty top lip. <laughs> oh, sweaty top lip. Have I got a sweaty top lip? Okay. Oh, so hi. these are these are my friends that I've made. Hello. Hello. Okay, I'm, okay, bye. Are you hungry? <laughs> it smells nice. What are you more or least looking for? I'm scared time? of the frogs that I just don't think you should eat any part of an amphibian. <laughs> <laughs> really? Good rule to live life yeah. by, Phil. That's what I live my life don't by. Don't eat amphibians. Um, what have they done to you? This wasn't part of the deal when I invited you no, off it the wasn't. beach. No, it wasn't. Is that, is that the frog's spine? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. But it's only the legs you're eating. Okay, I've That's got a bit there. The I'm really put off by the spine of the frog. <laughs> 
totally tastes like chicken. Yeah. Mm. But I'm eating a frog. I don't like it, I'm sorry. Because <laughs> no, you can have now. a chicken without holding something spine and looking at its little feety bones oh. while <laughs> <laughs> Taste, everything else, <laughs> crying. Yeah. Yeah. I can see its little face. So I'm trying to point out the snail's feet. <laughs> it just looks like a black blob don't at the moment. Don't eat me, Phil! Yeah. Go! This is nicer than the frog's legs. I can cope with that. I wouldn't eat a whole plate of them, but that was quite nice. Well, if nothing yeah. else, dunk the bread in the juices and it's chopped up. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. So you made that taste very good, but I wouldn't eat an entire mountain of them. A, a mountain of snails. <laughs> a mountain of snails, no. Thank you. Go eat something normal now. <laughs> you can Enjoy. Go back to the beach. Enjoy. Go back to your Bye. Bye. Thank you. Cheers. <laughs> Aujourd'hui, nous allons faire de cuisine. Oh. Bonjour. Bonjour. Merci, merci. <laughs> Dan and Phil. It's amazing. Yeah, amazing Phil. But we should just do a disclaimer saying that they actually tasted really nice. Well, I think the they... point was we deliberately chose stuff that was very stereotypical from our British minds, what is French. But we want to know from you guys what we should be cooking that's French. We have done some French dishes. Yep. Tuna nissoise, beef bourguignon, we've done French patisserie like mille fouet. But. What other French dishes should we be cooking? You need to tell us, so comment below. And if you did like seeing us and Dan and Phil cooking on a beach, make sure you like the video so other people can see it too. Wonderful. Well, that was it then. We might as well grab a flight back to London. No, let's go to the beach, go sunbathing and look at girls. Perfect. Au revoir. Au revoir.